Hi, I'm Chef Mike and welcome to Lights Camera Cook. Today we're making pan-seared Alaska salmon with a mango avocado relish. This recipe features the crisp and refreshing Hogue Fumé Blanc wine. So let's get started. We're going to start the mango and avocado relish by peeling and dicing our mango. Look for the flat oblong shape of your mango and bring it up where the seed will be in the up and down position. We'll bring our knife in just off of center and come in and cut around the seed. Repeat for the second side. Next we're going to use a paring knife and make some slices or scores all the way down but not through the skin. We'll make one cut this way and then we'll use a spoon to scoop out the flesh. We'll cut them into bite-sized pieces. For the avocado, we'll bring our knife in until it hits the seed and then turn to cut all the way around the seed. And we'll twist to open. Use your knife to remove the seed. We'll use a spoon to scoop out the flesh. And we'll dice. Next we'll add our diced tomatoes, our green onions, our lime juice, and our diced jalapeno pepper. And we'll give it a gentle toss. Now this can be made up to three hours in advance. If you do decide to do it that way, hold off on adding the avocado until just before serving. Now let's preheat our skillet over a medium high heat for at least one minute. Next we'll season our wild Alaska salmon filet with the Chef Paul Prudhomme's Magic Salmon Seasoning. Let's go ahead and oil our pan and we'll add our Alaska salmon filet. We'll cook for about two minutes and then turn. Now after two more minutes on the second side, remove it from the pan, set it on a clean plate and we'll set it aside. Now reduce the heat to medium low and we'll add our shallots. We're going to saute the shallots for about a minute until they become translucent, but be careful, don't burn them, they'll become very bitter. At this point, we'll add our Hogue Fumé Blanc wine and return the skillet back to the heat. When the simmer returns, we'll reduce for about one minute. We'll add our Alaska salmon filet back to the pan to finish cooking. You can tell it's done when it begins to flake. Wow, it really smells great. Let's serve it up.